Okay, what was the Asian economy like in the, er, in the late 90s? I'm trying to remember bits and pieces of it while uh, I was in the military. I, I was uh, stationed on Okinawa from about 97 to 99. And I didn't really see it directly, um, but I heard about it. And, and uh, there were some aspects of, of the, the crash, the Asian market crash, that I felt. Because um, people told me that my cost of living allowance, or they, they call it COLA for short, is, was lower while I was there because it, the market crashed a year before. They said it used to be, the cost of living used to be double. That was like, in my paychecks, it, they'd give me a little extra money every paycheck, and it'd be just adjusted every paycheck for, um, like if you wanted to buy something off base, it just it would adjust for the prices and stuff that exchange rates and um, the American dollar was a lot stronger, um, but unfortunately my my cola went down and I never bought much of anything off of the base, so that cola really didn't help a lot anyway. Um, I could find anything I wanted to buy on the base, although there were some weird things that were interesting uh, that I could buy off the base, I never, I never did, um, but that was in, that was in Japan, that everywhere in Asia um, lost, uh, just their, their markets went down, in, in, like in Korea, and I went to Korea, South Korea a couple of times, um, stayed maybe a couple months in all, just uh, I got to familiar with the economy there, and they, they seem to be struggling a little bit too. I could really bargain down some for some goods. I, I got like a mink blanket for twenty dollars. They're supposed to be more expensive in America, and their their system of of uh, b um, buying and selling is is uh, I offer a pr they have a advertised price, but I can. I could say I'll pay this much instead, and then they're willing to bargain for that. You don't get that in America so much. Um, so, and, and I know this one guy, he tried to uh, buy all kinds of Korean won, but uh, the exchange rate didn't work out for him. Uh, he, he, want, he thought he could take advantage of the crash by buying all kinds of uh, the, the, their money. But just he didn't. He said he didn't make any money. He thought it was a good idea because his wife was Korean. Uh, um, but yeah, it didn't work out too well. But this whole time, I under, from what I understand, North Korea was really suffering. It was slow for everybody else economically, but North Korea was really feeling the brunt of it. I heard stories of how they're eating cart, uh, like tree bark to survive and um, they're more desperate than ever to, to take over South Korea while I was in South Korea it was it was a little scary um, but uh, it's, it's really it was hard to say and, and now um, that I heard this this latest NPR story, I understand that North Korea certainly sounds like they were struggling throughout the 90s. Well, I was even while I was stationed in Okinawa, but you know, I, I didn't see it. I I was just uh, defending the base um, and and just you know aware a little bit of of uh, in in my own paychecks what was going on with that cola. Um, but yeah, it was, it was still economically active. I mean, their Japan was still putting out products, and Korea still had a lively um, economy outside of the base. So I didn't, you know, I, if maybe if I traveled further from the base, I would see people struggle a little bit more. But around the base, you wouldn't. You probably, I guess you, you could say you wouldn't really see that so much since the American dollar was was stronger and more people relied on that more so so yeah that's that's that